What's up guys? Welcome to another review of the Jurassic Park Kenner toys. Today I just recently got this in the mail. It is the Carter with bike. Now this has this has been opened. You have the proof of purchase at the bottom. Alright, so yeah, let's get this bad boy open. Only just figured out that I had this about an hour ago, so. Alright, so I moved the box up. Some close up. That is wonderful art on the front, I will say. You have Carter there. Move down, there's the bike, and it's snaring. It's snaring the Series 1 electronic roaring Velociraptor. He wasn't even in the Lost World series at all. That's a bit weird and odd, but okay. Move that off to the side so it doesn't break. Right, onto the figure. Now, the Carter figure, it's, it's alright. It's got, its hands are the weird thing though. Its hands are tied with its action feature, which I'll show you soon. It involves the bike, but he's got to have his hands like that so it can, he can hold onto the handlebars. And he's got this gun that is removable. This is some of the only guns that look like actual weapons in the Jurassic Park line. Yeah, but it's a weird hold. He's got he got this peg on the side. And you put that in his hand. Like that. So he holds it a bit weirdly. He can't actually be shooting it, but it's it's a good weapon. So if you wanted to use it for any other figures, you could get them to hold this. But don't actually... Yeah, it fits in the hands, but it'd just be weird holding it. So, yeah, I'll put Carter off to the side. If I can just get this in. There. In there, like that. So you can have... Oh, you got Carter, his, his bike's been broken, and then you got the Raptor. Yeah, so that's basically what Cannon wanted the kids to do. Uh, kill Raptors with a gun. Yeah, but it, it sort of, um, I think it sort of went like that back then, because all kids loved was gory and stuff. So now we've got the bike. Now the bike comes broken down. So you got the bits on the inside that clip together. You can put it in like that and then push. And then you got the handlebars, which slip in the front there and they sort of clip down. And the bike's got this really long snare on the end that I'll just use this one because it's the easiest to get it around. So you have it, the uh, dinosaur. Stay, stay seated. But, so if it got it around its neck, you pull this forward and it tightens. So you could grab it around its neck and drag it back or something. I always found something really cool was probably put back around there around his neck. But you could you could have Carter on the bike and the bike could break apart. So you get it all looped around. You put Carter on. You sort of have to get him to sit right.
So if you get him on like I just did, he's got this dinosaur in his snare. But the dinosaur's not giving up, and if it drags kind of through anything, it sort of looks like. But you push the clip at the back, and the bike breaks apart, and it sort of drags Carter along. So I move into a more detailed sort of thing about the bike and the gimmick. All right, so here's a close-up of the bike and the snare. I tried to show you a close-up feature of how that works. Pull this. And it goes all the way up to the top. And it just tightens. So you could... Uh, what's a dinosaur I can use this? You could have it on a bigger dinosaur, like the Series 1 Triceratops. It doesn't really work around its head or anything, or its tail. That wouldn't work. But you can loop it around its horns or something. Like this. You could have multiple bikes. It'd be a bit weird if you had multiple carters to go on the bikes. But you could have multiple of these and you could put all different action figures on them. Or you could get other snare stuff like Tim Murphy's or... Uh, his name's blanking. Harpoon Harrison's. But see, you could wrap it around its... And it would come off eventually, but it's probably the best you're going to get it. So there's the snare. And a bit of a bike, but here's the action feature. You push this clip at the back down. And the bike completely falls apart. Nope. Not today. Yeah, so you clip it in and you'd have him on chasing something. Like they're doing the trailer for it, he's got his he's got the snare around a parasaurolophus and it drags him through some dirt and the dirt clicks it and it just drags him along so yeah, there's the bike. Now you put Carter on the bike. Bike and the bike like so. You gotta sort of position him weirdly to get him on right. So he's half standing up, half sitting. That, so you could yeah but so this is the in-depth review of Carter with the dino snare dirt bike one more demonstration it shoots out so Maybe in the movie that was meant to be a scene where they could have it running. He could have it around something and Carter stops the bike and then it... Like he hops off the bike and then it breaks. The gun is drag along, so... Yeah, I'll add, I'll add a little clip at the end of the bike in use but if you want to go check out my other reviews on the Triceratops here yeah, and the young T-Rex uh, check out my channel down below so I'll see you guys in the next one and remember dinosaurs are cool